All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, here. We have a couple puff balls. This is, uh, I'm not sure the exact gene, but uh, these two we picked up uh, right behind the house here in Conway, South Carolina. We're gonna go ahead and cut the larger one in half. We'll take a look at, uh, see what this is all about. Okay, yeah, so uh, what I've read online is that almost all, or if not all, puffballs are edible. And you can eat them when they are white, but once they turn black, they're no longer edible. So this uh, puffball here, it, it, quite small in size, um, should be edible. And I've seen how they cook it online, just a little bit of oil in a skillet, and you just saute it, and uh, maybe some salt, pepper, garlic, you know, whatever season that you like, and um, cook it like you would any other mushroom. And uh, they say it's wonderful. Uh, let's cut open the uh, second one here. Top looks a little bit different. Um, I don't know if that's, it's not really all sand because it won't brush off, but let's cut this one open here. Okay, this is a different style of puffball or it's a little bit older, it started to turn black. Um, I don't really know for certain if there's any, uh, you know, mushroom experts that are out there. Um, if you know, maybe this mushroom is a little bit older, that's why it had that scaly top on it. But you notice this one is very white on the inside. Uh, comparing the two side by side, you can see the difference. The top is much smoother on this one than the top of this one. You see how kind of crusty it is and it's kind of almost peeling off there and the, the inside of this one feels more like pudding now or, or jello you know it's kind of soft and but this one here if you if you feel this it's more like a uh, marshmallow it's still kind of damp and it's soft um, I'd really like to try it I may may take it inside we'll see